Now you are going to learn about resonance. Okay, in that now I am going to explain about series resonance. Series resonance. Okay. So in many electrical circuits, this is an important phenomena. It is an important phenomenon. Okay. So this resonance concept is mainly used in communication systems. Mainly used in communication systems. See, in a communication system, we have transmitting station and transmitting station and receiving station. Okay, this is the transmitting station and this is the receiving station. Okay, so the transmitting station transmits the signal uh, to the receiving station with some frequency. Okay, let us say uh, it, it is transmitting with a 6000, 6000 megahertz frequency. So it has to receive the signal exactly at 6000 megahertz frequency. Okay, and another thing is this receiving station has to eliminate frequencies from other stations. Eliminate the frequencies from other stations. Okay, this can be achieved, achieved by using a, a resonance principle. So let us consider, let us consider a series RLC circuit like this. This is R, inductance L and capacitance C. A series RLC circuit which is connected to a voltage source Vs like this. Okay, R, L and C. Now, this circuit current leads or lags leads or lags depends on the values of XL and XC. Am I correct or not? XL in the sense inductive reactance and XC in the sense capacitive reactance. See, whenever XL is greater than XC Whenever XL is greater than XC, then the circuit is an inductive circuit, inductive circuit, and in that case, the current lags. The current will lags. If whenever XC is greater than XL, then the circuit is a positive circuit. Capacitive circuit and in case of capacitive circuit, what about current? Current leads. So, whether the current is lagging or leading depends on the inductive reactance and capacitive reactance of the circuit. Okay. So, for this circuit, the impedance Z will be Z is equal to R plus J into XL minus XC. XL minus XC. So what is XL? XL is equal to mega L and XC is equal to 1 by omega C. Okay. So this is the impedance of the series circuit. So let us consider I is the current flowing through this circuit then what about I? I is equal to V by Z. Here V is the source voltage Vs. Vs by Z. Okay. So, circuit is said to be. When can you say that the circuit is in resonance? When can you say that the circuit is in resonance? The circuit is said to be in resonance whenever 
the voltage and the current are in phase okay when v and i are in phase or in phase then we can say that then we can say that circuit is under resonance okay so this is the important point whenever the voltage and current in the circuit are in phase then we can say that the circuit is under resonance okay in series rlc circuit means in this circuit the resonance occurs at xl is equal to xc whenever inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance then we can say that resonance will occur in the circuit okay so the frequency frequency at which resonance occurs at which resonance occurs is called occurs is called resonant frequency okay so the frequency at which resonance occurs is called resonance frequency okay so uh what condition the resonance will occur at xl is equal to xc what is xl xl is equal to omega l and xc is equal to 1 by omega c so what is omega omega is the angular velocity 2 pi fl is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc 1 by 2 pi fc now f square is equal to 1 by 4 pi square l into c okay so i am considering frequency f is equal to 1 by 2 pi into root over lc okay so this is the resonant frequency resonant frequency is the frequency at which a resonance occurs is called at which a resonance occurs is called resonant frequency okay so this is the formula for rlc series circuit resonant frequency okay so thank you